Hi everyone, welcome to Free Movement Sewing. And uh, today we're gonna talk about marking your seam allowances on a circle skirt pattern. Okay, as you can see, all the circles that you see are actually our pattern weights, and uh, these are actually what you can get from the hardware stores. Alright, the big circle ones are actually the IKEA ones. <laughs> They're actually the IKEA leg uh, holders that I just use as pattern weights. Okay, so Chinri over here is just marking out the patterns um, and the seam allowances, but I realized that uh, when you're marking out using a tailor's chalk, you never use want to use the blunt side, but you always want to make sure to use a sharper side. So this particular chalk has been actually quite uh, blunt already, and this is actually a lot sharper. Okay, usually tailor's chalk is in a triangle, but this one was broken already and very, very blunt. So typically if it's this blunt, we want to make sure to use as sharp a side as possible or if not, use a pen knife to actually sharpen it and um, make sure that it uh, is a lot better to use. So if you're going to use the, the, the blunt side, it's going to be really, really thick. And so that's not what you want to do. You want to make sure to always use the sharper side so that the lines are nice and clean and much easier to work with in, in terms of marking your fabric. Now this is especially so if you're working with say stretch fabrics. Um, this particular fabric that Trimway is working with is a cotton spandex fabric. It has four-way stretch so that's why it gets even harder the more blunt the chalk is okay so if it's the first time working with chalk just bear in mind okay and um why we have all the weights at different parts is because you really want to hold the paper pattern down if not it will just get folded and you know it might just drive you crazy <laughs> Okay, so while marking your seam allowances, always, always, always make sure to mark right at the beginning. Okay, so if you see here right at the beginning, there is no marking. So you don't really know when you're cutting where the scissors should first start. So always make sure to start right at the beginning. And as you slowly mark, you can leave about a 2-3 inches gap, just depending on, well, how comfortable you are in... Um, uh, marking and later then cutting okay so if you feel like um, you want to do more like right now Trinder is doing every like one one half inches about there and um, if you feel better doing it this way completely like go ahead but if you want to do every like two inches or so and then later on you know kind of like join the dots in a way then definitely go ahead do that um, if you do it more, of course, you don't actually have to join lah, because there's already a lot of uh, markings for you to follow as you actually cut the fabric, okay? So this is a very good way we use a measuring tape and uh, following a half inch allowance. So you can see on the measuring tape, it's a very exact half inch allowance. And how you see the half inch is both sides of the pattern have to be on both sides of the half inch um, marking on the measuring tape okay so don't just make sure that it's not just one side but it's both sides so that you make it as accurate as possible okay so just mark the whole circle all right so bear in mind that this fabric is actually folded yeah folded twice on both sides so it opens up to a big beautiful circle skirt Okay, so that's kind of what it is, alright? If you have any questions, drop it down in the comments below. But if you found this video useful in any way to you, don't forget to like and subscribe because we have many videos coming up. I will definitely, definitely see you soon, okay? Take care, stay safe, and we're always here to support your sewing journey. Bye!